Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading and today we have another great tarot reading. I feel like we do and we see sweet results await. Yeah, here's the bee, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, he's, he's at the honeycomb, right? Yeah, and one time there was one on the porch, right? And uh, the beehive and I was and I saw like 300 beers, bees in front of me and I was like, oh my God, right? So I had to get that off of the off of the porch yeah the front porch right the kids are like oh my goodness mom yeah so anyway uh, we have sweet results await Sagittarius and before we begin if you would like your own psychic reading you may always get one they're accurate I'm a silver grad and we do uh, at the end of that we do the tarot spread so you have two unique uh, insights right if you would like a free five minute psychic reading with mystic sense that link is below and if you would like a tarot spread unto itself, you may get one too. Everything's in the description box. If you need your chart analyzed, yeah, that's huge, right? I do that as well. Send me an email regarding the psychic reading uh, with the tarot at the end. Those are a lot of fun. They definitely are. And we do them on the phone. Typically, it's very personal. And uh, mm -hmm. and so, yeah, those are those are great. If you don't trust somebody or you don't know somebody you know perfect right or if you have questions about your own journey right so let's see what we have here Sagittarius and we start this particular reading with this lady here and she has uh, like all these kind of instruments and paint you know paint brushes and she's got the musical scale here and a mirror of these hands and then the two faces and she's definitely uh, thinking about her her life and what she can create it does appear uh, that way um, we also have this other card here where this is the gesture and he's also playing he's playing this lute basically or I'm not sure it's not, actually it's like more like a harp an ancient harp here's the yin and the yang and he is uh, all about manifesting what's really good for him here's a little rainbow on top of that uh, yeah, the musical scale is there too, and if, yeah, music can too. People don't know, but it stimulates your brain. Yes, it does, and uh, you know, so that's uh, really great for you know kids to hear music and all that, and and not only that, but uh, music. If some people don't have a creative outlet, uh, they can get overly feisty and that's probably a, a nice way to say that. Yeah, let's have a look here at this uh, card though. Uh, right because we all need an outlet for our we just need all need an outlet yeah we do some type right okay so creativity and imagination each day is a new canvas to paint upon make sure your picture is full of life and happiness yes yeah, what I said she's thinking about her future here and at the end of the day you don't look at it and wish you had painted something different this is somebody who wants something new and they're paying a close attention to that what they want to manifest in their life. And we see it here with this gesture, right? And so this uh, lady with all these paint brushes and, you know, thinking about her future and she, she doesn't want to regret, or maybe she does regret something, but she's all about her future. Uh, this isn't 14, it's a five. So here we have change. So this is definitely uh, about that. And uh, this other card here, is harmony, balance, and being in tune with others. Yeah, so he's playing the music and the yin and the yang uh, symbols are on his hat, which also always cracks me up, this jester hat with these uh, kind of four, maybe it has five, but these uh, these kind of you know, legs, if you will, or like little horns here. And uh, yeah, and so here he is playing and that is what he is doing. He's creating harmony and balance exactly with what he wants in his life, what he wants to manifest, what he wants to create. And so this is kind of an extension of that, uh, of that same, that the, the other card. Let's look at that harmony and balance uh, once more here. Uh, and this is, you don't get harmony when everybody sings the same note. Yeah, this is about kind of wanting somebody who's a little different sometimes uh, yeah, and I feel like somebody's going to reach out to you here and they want to manifest something with you. This is a number 11, so this can be about two people, uh, and the twos are always about choices or two people. It's really what it is, and kind of, yeah, it, or sometimes 
and balance and harmony, right? Because of the two. Here we have compatibility, and this is change too. But he's, uh, you know, he has his hand out to her. They're both on these doves up in the air, right? It's about compatibility and love, and the hearts are here. And they're both sitting on, they're both wearing the same outfit, brown pants and a red vest, and they're sitting on this uh, magic carpet, kind of, which is on the doves, right? Because it is magic. They're up in the air on these huge, giant birds that really don't exist. Uh, but the point about it is that they're both, they're admitting we're compatible, but change needs to happen. It's a five. This is uh, highly uh, interesting, of course. And we have worthiness, and this is an eight. So eights are typically about progress, uh, even if something kind of funky has to be done or an ending or change or something challenging, right? I shouldn't really say funky, but uh, this is about progress. Uh, this is a 35, and this is worthiness. And so she is looking into uh, the brook, and she sees her reflection, and uh, there's something very, uh, somebody either feels like they uh, have worthiness or that this relationship or whatever that somebody's trying to manifest here, it does look like that. We see the couple kind of reaching out to each other. Uh, they're kind of admitting, yeah, we're compatible. Look, we're on the same, uh, little, we're on the same bird. We're wearing the same clothes. And so something happens here and this worthiness has something to do with it. It can be that somebody finally, uh, steps into their, their worthiness instead of, you know, uh, I'm not, this isn't, I'm not worthy or, uh, they could have really raised their consciousness or their confidence, right? Which usually goes to hand in hand, right? We have resolving conflict. This is another eight. So this is progress after resolving some type of conflict. So she's sending, uh, the, the white light to him, which is healing and he's sitting on the floor and you can tell he had a broken heart because his heart's here and you know, he's sad, he's looking down and she's happy and she's trying to help him heal. She's sending love, empathy, compassion, and understanding. And all this love, you know, and understanding is to manifest a new future because somebody feels like you are compatible with them, Sagittarius. Yeah. And they're trying to convince you to wear their same clothes. Well, I don't want to wear the same clothes as my partner. Not really. I mean, it, it depends if we're maybe going somewhere. We both have the same, maybe some social cause. All right, you wear that. I'll wear this too. You know, right? <laughs> maybe like that, kind of. But, uh, you know, but I definitely don't want to look like, no, I don't. Because uh, anyway, and then we have uh, sweet results await. So here is interesting here on the B is the dice. So in order to have these sweet results, somebody has to roll the dice and take a chance. Yeah, they do. Or they've been sitting at the casino for too long, Sagittarius, right? And uh, no, I don't think that has uh, anything to do with this. I mean, it could, but you know. Anyway, that is about the sweet results await is definitely about just taking a chance. It's a number seven too. Taking a chance. Somebody wants to return to you and resolve some conflict. They, they could have either broken your heart or you broke theirs, right? Uh, because this is trying to make up here, but she's helping him with love and empathy. Somebody really raised their consciousness here because love and empathy only comes from a higher consciousness. And no, it doesn't come from a lower one. No, it doesn't. Uh, self-compassion comes from a higher consciousness, compassion for others, right? Yeah, you can't be really empathic, not genuinely empathic if you are in a really lower state because that's usually negativity, right, at least, or, or unworthiness. But here we have worthiness. There's a huge change here. Let's see what we have, Sagittarius. The Four of Cups is reversed, and this is a missed opportunity. We'll move the camera down. And we have the Six of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. Lots of Pentacles in this reading. And Pentacles are about values, self-esteem, resources, money, and stability. That's kind of really uh, very Taurus, very Venus. And uh, wow, the King of Cups is reversed here. Okay, so the... the uh, 
the heart of the matter here, the overall energy in this reading here is a missed opportunity. And that's what this is about. Somebody's coming back to resolve conflict with you. Um, they could have caused a broken heart. You might have, you may have caused it, Sagittarius. This is unclear here. But they see the compatibility between you guys. They see how important and how much value is here with the worthiness card. This could have been their own worthiness. Yeah, and you know, sometimes we make the wrong, we choose the wrong people when we don't feel worthy. Or we might self-sabotage, we might break hearts. I mean, it's just this, you know, unworthiness because this is implying that somebody has worthiness now or this relationship is, you know, but it's just, I feel like this is about one person here who has, just feels better about themselves or something like that. And, uh, you know, with that, once we do that, we can, we can create change and we have, uh, many cards of change and the sweet bees, uh, right here, sweet results await. This is about contemplation here because somebody has really contemplated here. Of course, right? This is major. They, they're not just going to show up and go, Hey, you're so great Sagittarius, right? Yeah, let's make up. Bam, right? No, this is huge. And, uh, yeah, it's very deep. It sure is. And, uh, so we see the, a missed opportunity, the four of cups reversed. Most likely here, that's what that was. And it can also be that somebody rejected you because this is a card of rejection or boredom, unhappiness. He doesn't want it. He's not even paying attention. So uh, this can be somebody who steps out of something that is boring to them or they have rejected because it can be a uh, like a past tense of that, right? There could have been a rejection. Somebody might have done this to you. And here's the eight of pentacles or it's a missed opportunity right? And the eight of pentacles is progress. And here is the most beautiful form of it because he's devoted to his job. This is craftsmanship. I want to do a great job here. Uh, mm -hmm. And the eights are really about change uh, because of progress, not like a five. A five is, can be changed uh, because the tower flew in and, you know, kind of hit him in the butt or, you know, banged him in the head, things like that. Uh, challenging change. Yeah. So here we see the eight of pentacles. There's a missed opportunity and somebody wants to give you their all here, Sagittarius, or you're doing it. Remember that the readings can be switched. We have the page of pentacles and we have one, two, three, and four pentacles, five. 50% of this is, uh, you know, is about, uh, is about self-esteem or wanting something stable and belief systems. This person believes in you. Yeah. And we see it here because we just do. Yeah, we do. So now we have the page of pentacles and this is confirming what I'm saying. Cause this is, uh, an energy of like value. Yeah. And that's what the pentacles are values. Right. And so, and beliefs. And so they value you here and this is helping you. And they believe that this is very valuable. And that's why we have worthiness here. This person believes in this and we have the high priestess with it. And they have learned that I believe because of their intuition. Yeah. We could have hit them in the head in a major way. I'm not sure how that came into being. Uh, but the high priestess is here. There may be a Piscean or a Scorpio here as well in the reading, of course, uh, especially with the King of Cups showing up in the reverse here. And so this is helping you that this person, I believe, is trusting you as a soulmate. They're in their higher consciousness. You could have been a secret too, Sagittarius. The, the high priestess is about secretive matters, right? Or things of the occult or your psychic ability or your intuition. And they, I feel like this person, somebody here is highly intuitive. And this is how they know your value. And, you know, maybe they had to go away and kind of learn that, right? Sometimes we are alone or without something, we learn. Yeah, we don't usually learn when everything's just happy and no, everything's going well there. What's there? There's nothing to learn. There's nothing to pay attention to except the joy. There's no wisdom really coming from that. There's joy. Uh, there can be the wisdom of, yeah, I've chosen the correct situation. That's why I'm in joy. But we really learn 
uh, when things are not going right because a little bell goes off and we go, gee, how come I don't feel good? Why aren't things going well? Well, there's a lesson which we're, we need to learn something. Yeah. And so it's usually surrender to the divine, surrender to the fact that we're, we're, we are spiritual beings walking around in a physical suit and that there's a higher order here. And once we understand, we can work with it. Yeah, we can. But until we understand that, we're just people walking around kind of as victims. Yeah, kind of like that. Or, yeah, or maybe even pawns to kind of uh, a lower energy. Yeah, and so that's a long conversation to have. And here's the Six of Pentacles. And this is coming into play, showing up with the Five of Wands. And this is... Uh, this is very challenging change in order for somebody to bring you this give and take. And so we see the six of pentacles here with the eight there. They can be seen as similar energies. He's doing his best and he's sharing with these people. This person wants to give you probably what they didn't in the past. That's how it looks here. Either that, or you're meeting somebody here who is maybe resolving their own conflict and understanding their worthiness. And now they're coming to you in this higher way. They're in their higher self now. Yeah. And you know, so that could be it. And, um, mm -hmm, maybe they have been rejected here in some way, uh, or maybe very bored in their life, but however this takes place or however it has transpired or come to where it is today is because of a higher consciousness. And that changes everything. It's a huge game changer here. And we see a lot of fives here. So we know there's change. We have two fives uh, with the Oracle spread. We have the five of wands here. So we have three fives here, basically, you know, uh, confirming. Yeah. And so the Ace of Pentacles sits in the past. And this is usually an opportunity for a new beginning. But I feel like somebody here saw them, realized that they had a missed opportunity with you or they missed an opportunity with you. And this is when they kind of figured out here in the past, I want this new beginning with Sagittarius, Ace of Pentacles with the Knight of Wands. And that may be you, or that they were going to take action and have courage, right? Because uh, the Knight of Wands is is that, both. And it's also, uh, it's also about courage and taking action for sure and passion. So we have, in the near future, we have the Page of Wands. This is a new direction. And this is what I mean about change. No, it's not a five, but that's okay. Uh, mm -hmm. And, you know, here he is. He's walking a new path. And this is happening in this reading. And this is definitely more change, right? This is all part of this. And this is a new path. And, you know, some readers will say this is a renewal. And in this reading, it does look like it is one. It's definitely a change in direction. And we have the Two of Pentacles here. And this is how you're being affected. And maybe this is you going back and forth about this. Maybe it's them. We'll get a card because, you know, you could be affected and you, you might be the one doing this. And here's the moon. So this could be confusion. Uh, you might be maybe wondering if they're going through an uh, emotional ups and downs, possibly. Uh, this man up here is, right? And she's trying to help him uh, with her empathy. But this can, you know, maybe they're, maybe they're cancer with the moon, possibly. Um, and this can be, you know, this can be many things. The moon can be, you know, trusting your intuition, but it is definitely your feelings and what makes you feel safe. The fourth house of family, right? And so let's get another card on that. And we have the seven of pentacles. So this is more kind of, I wonder what I'm going to reap here. Uh, this may be both of you. The two of pentacles, I wonder, going back and forth, the seven of pentacles, I wonder what I'm going to reap here. Yeah, there's confusion here about what's going to happen. And you both could be, for some uh, Sagittarius, you both could be in this, I wonder what's going to happen here. The moon is uh, confusion because of the darkness at night as well. Yeah, it can be kind of, that's really what it is in this reading. Sometimes it is, a, it's, you know, it is a cycle. I wonder if the cycle is going to end right? The new moon. We're coming into the new moon in Pisces. Yeah, go check out my video uh, and I'll link it above, right? Right in the comments at the top. Uh, this is the new moon in Pisces where we are dreaming about 
you know, new, new beginnings, right? And the new moon is always hopeful. It's a new time. It is a new beginning. It's a time to seed, to seed our ideas. And uh, with the Pisces new moon, it is, it, you know, it, it can be definitely taking advantage of what you've been fantasizing on because P- Pisces is very dreamy. And so we have over here, and I cover the 12 signs, you guys. We have here uh, the four uh, the four here it's a, about structure and foundation, and we start the reading with the Four of Cups. Somebody wants something solid, right? The Ace of Pentacles is showing that here, and this is how you affect them. And you are encouraging this person or influencing them or you've had this huge impact on them to take control of their life with the emperor. Yeah, you have. And maybe they're an Aries, right? They could be. And the two of swords shows up in the hopes and fears with the three of cups. So you don't know possibly for some of you if you're going to, uh, if you're going to reconcile with them, possibly. If you're going to celebrate with them, it looks like if you're going to get back together and celebrate that, uh, and you, maybe you don't know here, the two of swords is like in here, it's kind of, I don't know. Uh, I'm confused. I don't, I don't know. I'm stuck. I'm just kind of don't know. Uh, maybe you feel bad about this or stuck, right? But this is usually in this reading, this is, I'm not sure here because the moon's down here with the two of pentacles. I'm not sure if I'm going to reconcile with them could be maybe you're thinking there's a third party here you could two of swords three of cups but you know we don't have negative cards here there's no negative cards here at all i mean into the five of wands is a challenge this can this can kind of can you know sometimes imply there's a third party too many people there could have been there could have been somebody who chose something else because of this missed opportunity right so it could be you or them but here uh, this may be you or them, uh, kind of, I don't know if, uh, the reconciliation and maybe you both don't know because this right here shows that you don't know, or they don't know these cards right here. Right. Yeah, for sure. And so let's get a card on that hopes and fears. Cause it's really important. Right. And we have the Knight of swords. So maybe you think this person's going to come in fast. Uh, right and but you know you don't know that if you're going to reconcile but that they might come in fast here like unexpected the knight of swords is very unexpected this is very like aquarian energy yeah it is I and mean, it can be you know the swords are are aquarius anyway but i'm not saying that they are aquarius no that's not um my point here but uh you know um so that can be that for sure and uh we have the king of cups sitting in the reverse here this could be uh, a water sign who is in the reverse it could maybe that's the person who needs this healing and wants to resolve conflict possibly uh ten of wands yeah so there's some type of uh you know there's a, a burden that's being dropped here it could be somebody else because it could for some right we're not sure about that part right like some like a third party being let go uh, because this is a completion, the Ten of Wands, but it's being laid down, right? And the King of Cups reversed. We do have, and when I say there's no bad cards, we do have the Five of Wands, the Ten of Wands now, uh, the Two of Swords, and they're not bad cards. There's nothing bad. Just like in astrology, there's nothing bad. It is your chart is trying to show you your strengths and your vulnerabilities so you can make better, so you can be aware and you know, and step into the higher energy of either that house, that planet, uh, the planet in a particular sign, uh, the, the houses in particular signs and just, just like that, right? It's a lot. So it's a lot because it's based on your particular, uh, birth time, not just like, Hey, let's read horoscopes today. No, it's right. So it's based on your own chart. So uh, in this reading, we're not really sure here. This is what we're saying here about kind of what's going on. But something's being dropped here. Uh, and it, it's, it was burdening. And it might have to do with a water sign. Uh, you know, the King of Cups reverse can be uh, somebody who... It can be somebody who made wrong decisions in love. It can be somebody who drinks a lot. It can be somebody who's really sad. But usually the King of Cups in the upright is supposed to be somebody who makes the proper decisions in love or creativity, right? But, uh, and his inspiration and his intuition and somebody might not have followed their intuition 
earlier, earlier on because of the missed opportunity. Because we don't miss out on opportunities as much if we are really trusting our intuition. No, we don't. Right? Yeah, so we're going to end this reading, Sagittarius. Uh, it's a very beautiful reading. It's very deep. Thank you so much for joining me here. I feel like somebody's going to show up for you here. And uh, there's some healing involved in this reading, right? Yeah. So thank you so much. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And yeah, go check out my my video uh, down below. If you want to get your reading and you don't understand somebody, get your psychic reading. Get your, get your freak on, Sagittarius, right? And uh, yeah, thank you so much for joining me here. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And Daniel, if you're listening uh, and you are to this reading, I know you're a Sag, just did your reading yesterday. Uh, if you could just type in the comments that it was accurate. Yeah, the psychic reading. Thank you so much. And yeah.